Hi, this is Tampa Tech, and learn something new from PC, TVs, and gaming too. Let's get it started. Now you can even control each individual device. Your surround sound, your cable box, or your TV. So I'm going to show you how to do that. On the bottom right right here, click on that, and then click on settings. And then from that point right here, the only thing you have to do is click on. So you, you can even control two Logitech uh, Google TV devices, one in the bedroom and one in the family room. And that's how you do it right there, connect to Logitech device. But if you want to uh, connect to a TV or surround sound or whatever, you can go into the further advanced settings on your surround sound. Click on this right here. And then all oh, here, right, TV, DVR, or so, um, stereo receiver. And, well, it says PVR, but it's DVR, same thing. Here we go, on. It says power on right there. It even has the buttons for channel changing, all that volume up, channel up and down. Look, more. It's pretty much all my TV buttons. It's kind of cool, right? Alright, so let's go ahead and I'll uh, show you. On. So how it really works is it's going through the Google TV device and it's using IR blasters. Let's see the TV's on. And I just used it like that individual. And I can even mess with the sleep timer mode, hit sleep. This is a sleep timer right there. I don't know if you saw that. An aspect ratio. All that. It has all the pretty much the functions of the TV remote. Now, I'm going to turn it off. And when I turn it off, I'm going to show you something. You'll see something blink. Ready? See those lights blinking? The white lights blinking? Those are IR blasters that are shooting off and control your TV, surround sound, and cable box. Um, turn on your TV, surround sound, cable box, and whatnot. I got this Google TV, it's called Logitech Review, and it's the middleman. So my HMI cable box is plugged into the input at my Google TV device, the Logitech Review, and then HDMI out to my TV. And it controls my TV, my surround sound, and my cable box. So after you download the Review app, the Logitech Review app, you just click on that. And it, okay, make sure you're on the same wireless router. So get off your 3G or 4G and jump on the wireless router. So once you're on the same wireless router as your Google TV, I got it hardwired to my um, wireless router. My this is wireless, by the way, or you can do it wired. I recommend wired if you can. If you want? It's gonna say pull up a number like that. Put it in eight eight zero one. And there it is. It's connected. Now you can use your phone. I think it works off. Uh, yeah, it works off the wire wireless router. So the wireless router is basically the bridge. All right. So let's go ahead and hit home button. And it's gonna take a couple seconds. All right, and then it pulls up everything. There you go. So now I can use this. Hit home. Get rid of that. Hit that. Hit pause. Pause is my DVR. Hit channel up. Change it to channel. Hit mute. Mutes my surround sound. So far, so good. Hit the home button. And I could go to YouTube. So, and then also you go, so when I click on right here on the left, you actually got other menus. You just swipe left and right. See? Oh, I did that. So anytime you want to watch live TV, hit the live TV button. Right here. I can unmute it. Pause. Let's go to the channel, channel one, zero. 
go straight there. Or you go channel 1009. That's how you do that. So it's pretty easy. I'm going to show you um, a couple. Of, so again, get off the 3G and 4G. Make sure you're on the same wireless router as your Google TV device. This thing's only 100 bucks. Totally worth it. And it'll control everything, your home theater. Now, if you're still unable, hit the home button. After you hit the home button, go ahead and hit the menu button on your keyboard. So once you get in this mo mode by hitting the home button, just click on the menu button right here. And it pulls up this menu. Okay. And then basically from that, you go down, down to system settings. And then you go down to input devices and manage IP. You want to make sure that's connected, uh, checked. And uh, let's see, go down, configure input. I don't know if this does anything. Let's see. Yeah, just check those just in case. You could custom all your keyboard too. You see if it's 3D TV. If you have a 3D TV, you can make the the three key as your 3D uh, TV. So you can customize each key on your keyboard. It's kind of cool. Manage paired devices. I don't know if it's no. It's it's not paired. It's actually connected a different way. It's so wireless connection IP, I think. Manage phone. Here it is. Manage paired phone. Click on that and see how it's connected right there. So that's how you get to these settings. And this, just just in case, check that. Yeah, I don't know if it has anything to do with the IP, but uh, just check that. So that's how you do it. Thanks for watching. Post a comment, subscribe, Tampa Tech, and check out my other YouTube videos how to t fix TVs and tablets.